Welcome to our book summary channel. Today we'll be diving into The Lean Startup by Eric Ries. This book is a must-read for anyone looking to build a successful startup by adopting a lean and agile approach. Ries shares his insights on how to validate assumptions, test ideas, and continuously iterate the product based on customer feedback. Join us as we explore the key concepts and takeaways from this essential read for entrepreneurs. Chapter 1. Start. The first chapter emphasizes the importance of starting a business with a clear understanding of the problem you are trying to solve. Reese emphasizes that entrepreneurs need to start by identifying the critical assumptions underlying their business idea and validating them through experimentation. He argues that most startups fail because they build products that nobody wants, and the key to avoiding this is by testing assumptions and iterating quickly. Chapter 2 Define In this chapter, Reese outlines the process of defining the product or service by creating a minimum viable product, MVP. The MVP is the simplest possible version of the product that can be used to validate assumptions and get feedback from customers. Reese also introduces the concept of validated learning, which means using data and feedback to test assumptions and improve the product. Chapter 3 Learn Reese explains the importance of learning from customers and using their feedback to improve the product. He argues that startups need to adopt a scientific approach to product development by creating hypotheses, testing them, and learning from the results. The chapter also introduces the concept of a pivot, which is a fundamental change in the product or business model based on feedback from customers. Chapter 4 Experiment this chapter focuses on the importance of experimentation in startup development. Rees argues that startups should use rapid experimentation to test assumptions and improve the product. He introduces the concept of A-B testing, which involves creating two versions of a product and testing them with different groups of customers to see which performs better. Chapter 5, Build Measure Learn In this chapter, Rees introduces the Build Measure Learn loop which is the process of quickly building a product, measuring its performance, and learning from the results. The loop is designed to help startups validate assumptions, test ideas, and iterate quickly. Rees also emphasizes the importance of metrics and data in measuring the success of a startup. Chapter 6, Leap This chapter focuses on the importance of taking calculated risks and making bold moves to grow a startup. Reese argues that startups need to be willing to take leaps of faith to achieve success, but they should also be cautious and test assumptions before making big decisions. He introduces the concept of innovation accounting, which is the process of measuring progress and making decisions based on data and validated learning. Chapter 7, Measure In this chapter, Reese emphasizes the importance of measuring progress and using metrics to guide decision-making. He introduces the concept of actionable metrics, which are metrics that can be used to guide decisions and improve the product. Reese also emphasizes the importance of focusing on the one metric that matters, which is the key metric that defines success for a startup. Chapter 8, Pivot, or Persevere This chapter focuses on the decision-making process of whether to pivot or persevere with a startup idea. Reese argues that startups need to be willing to pivot if they discover that their assumptions are incorrect or if their current strategy is not working. He provides several examples of successful startups that pivoted to find their product market fit. Chapter 9, Batch In this chapter, Reese introduces the concept of batch size, which is the number of features or changes that are released in a single product update. He argues that smaller batch sizes allow for quicker iteration and faster feedback loops, which leads to better products. Chapter 10, Grow In this chapter, Reese discusses how startups can grow by focusing on customer acquisition and retention. He introduces the concept of a growth engine, which is the process by which a startup acquires and retains customers. 
Rees emphasizes the importance of understanding the customer journey and creating a growth strategy that is tailored to the specific needs of the business. Chapter 11, Adapt. This chapter focuses on the importance of adapting to changes in the market and the business environment. Rees argues that startups need to be flexible and responsive to changing circumstances, and they should be willing to adapt their strategy as needed. He introduces the concept of continuous innovation, which involves constantly experimenting and iterating to improve the product and stay ahead of the competition. Chapter 12, Innovate. In the final chapter, Reese emphasizes the importance of innovation and creativity in the startup world. He argues that innovation is the key to creating a sustainable competitive advantage, and startups should always be looking for new and better ways to solve problems. Reese concludes the book by encouraging entrepreneurs to adopt a lean and agile approach to innovation and to never stop learning and experimenting. Overall, The Lean Startup provides a comprehensive guide for entrepreneurs on how to build a successful startup by following a lean and agile approach. The book emphasizes the importance of validating assumptions, testing ideas, and continuously iterating the product based on customer feedback. By adopting a scientific approach to product development and focusing on validated learning, startups can improve their chances of success and avoid the pitfalls that lead to failure. If you like this summary then subscribe to my channel and if you want to purchase this book, check out the link given in description box. Also check out the new designs on our store for unisex t-shirt, hoodie, sweatshirt etc. I'll see you in the next book summary. Thanks for watching.